In this segment, we are going to visit a neuropathologist. Okay, so a pathologist is a kind of doctor who helps diagnose and study diseases by looking at the cells in our body and our different body parts. Neuro, that means brain and spinal cord stuff. So a neuropathologist is a special kind of doctor that studies diseases that affect our brain. So I caught up with neuropathologist Mark Cohen. Literally, he was sorting through bags of brain tissue from people who had strokes. Okay, basically a stroke can happen uh, kind of like a heart attack in your brain when blood flow gets cut off to part of the brain. Sometimes when patients pass away, they can donate their bodies to science so that doctors can study them and learn more about diseases and hopefully develop better cures and treatments. So Dr. Cohen showed me a whole brain from a deceased patient and he was able to actually point out the different parts and pieces and explain their functions. Show me the anatomy of the brain. Well, atop of the brain here, all this is we call the cerebral hemispheres, and this is what most of us think of as our thinking and acting brain. Well, most of the human brain is formed of the frontal lobe, and this part of the brain is tied in predominantly with our behavior, regulating our behavior. On the inferior side of the brain, or the base of the brain, are the temporal lobes, and they're most important in the formation of new memories. Okay, so you may have noticed those little red squiggly lines on the surface of the brain. Those are little veins that are actually carrying the blood out of the brain back to the heart and lungs so the blood can pick up more oxygen and other nutrients and then get recirculated. One other little tidbit, the average adult brain weighs about three and a half pounds. That's it for now, catch you next time.